the problem based on lowering of vapor pressure. So, six gram of urea was dissolved in 9.9 .9 moles of water. If the vapor pressure of pure water is uh, P and P naught, what is the vapor pressure of solution? So, this is based on lowering of vapor. This is the formula lowering of vapor pressure P naught minus P equal to P naught equal to X solute. This is the moles of the solute, and this is the moles of the uh, solvent. So, N plus capital N. So, this is the most of salt urea, this is the urea and this is the most of water. So if you solve it, we will get 0 0.01. So what is the vapor pressure of solution? So P we have to find out, we have to find out this P. So this P is P0 minus P by P0 equal to 0 0.01. So if you see here, 1 minus P by P0 equal to 0 0.01. So on solving, we will get here P equal to 0.99 p naught. So this is the vapor pressure of solutions. So next problem. So this is our the vapor pressure of aqueous solution of sucrose at 380 C373 Kelvin is found to be 750 millimeter of mercury. What is the morality of the solution at the same temperature? So, we have a pressure 750 millimeter mercury. So, yes, we know that uh, P0 is equal to 760 millimeter mercury and PA, that is, that is P, is equal to 750 millimeter mercury. And they have given here temperature. So, what the morality of solution? The same formula for morality of solution. Uh, P naught minus P by capital P into thousand by solvent. So this is our mole fraction. This is our moles of the solute. So we can put directly value here. 760 minus 750 divided by 750 and this will be your thousand divided by 18. So on solving we will get here 0 0.074. So this is our answer. Next is our estimate the lowering of vapor pressure due to solute glucose in a one molar aqueous solution of aqueous solution 100 degree centigrade. So lowering of vapor pressure same P naught by P by this one. So again you use same formula P by P by P naught P naught by P by P. Actually we are finding lowering of vapor pressure of solute. So multiplied by thousand into thousand to two molar mass of the solvent so m is water so it is given here so again 760 minus p so they have now a lot of purpose so means we have to take standard pressure 760 760 by p divided by p into thousand by 18 and m is given here one one is given here so on solving so we will get here P equal to 746.5. So change in P, so change in P will be 760 minus 746.5. So this will give you 13.5 millimeter or you can write here 13.5 tall. So anything, answer anything will be possible. Next we see problem. So calculate the weight of the solute. Calculate the weight of weight of the non-volatile solute having calculate the weight of the non-volatile solute having uh, molecular weight 40, which should be dissolved in 57 gram octane to reduce vapor pressure to 80 degree 80 percent so weight of the non water surface we have to find out so again we see here 80 percent we have 80 percent we have pressure has been reduced so p s is equal to 80 by 100 p naught so again we have to find the weight of the non water solute 
So use the formula P naught minus P divided by P. So this is your mole of solute divided by your mole of the solvent. Okay. So for this given solvent is given. So use this value. P naught minus eighty by hundred. Okay. So hundred. So it will be your eighty divided by. This is your P naught eighty by hundred into P naught. So on solving, uh, this is equal to weight of the solid by weight of solid. So weight by forty. So molar mass they have given molar eighty uh, for solvent. So fifty seven gram, fifty seven by hundred hundred forty. So this will be your two answer. So on solving we will get here weight by twenty or this weight by twenty. So this will be your answers. Weight equal to five gram because PP will be cancelled. Forty-eight degrees centigrade. Uh, the vapor pressure of pure carbon disulfide is eight fifty torr. So, a solution of two gram of sulfur in hundred uh, gram of carbon disulfide has a vapor pressure of eight forty-four point nine torr. So, determine the atomicity of the sulfur molecules. We have to find the atomicity of sulfur molecules. Now, for atomicity, we should know the weight of the sulfur. Okay, your total tor or total weight. If we if we know the total weight, we can divide by. Uh, their molar mass will find atomicity. So total molar mass, total uh, weight will be your something we get. So again, we have pressure is given, and the two gram of sulfur in hundred gram C H is given. So we can see here uh, P naught minus P by P equal to N by capital N. Okay, so this is given, and the P naught so it is P naught minus P. So P naught is given here. 850 torr. This is standard vapor pressure. So 850 minus 844.9 divided by 844.9, and this is your again uh, weight of the carbon dioxide by two of two gram is given to so two by capital M. So M will be molar mass and 100 by 100 gram by uh, sulfur is molar mass to 100 by. Seventy-six. So this is your carbon disulfide, and this is only the weight. Uh, so the carbon disulfide, and this is your sulfur. So on solving, we we'll get here molar mass is two fifty-two. So we we'll get here M two fifty-two. So number of moles of will be sulfur will be N divided by two fifty-two by thirty-two. So molar mass of sulfur is this one. So this N equal to uh, if we solve it, we we'll get here eight. So this is the Atomicity of the sulfur molecule. Now, point one gram solution of glucose was found to be found to be isotonic with a solution of X in hundred gram water. So, point one molar. So, is to calculate the relative lowering of vapor pressure in solution of solution of X in water. So, here isotonic means again the same here concentration of glucose solution is equal to concentration of concentration solution of concentration solution of X. So again, this is this is point one molarity. So this will be also point one molarity. So are we also one more thing is very clear. Volume of solution is equal to volume of water. The both volumes are equal. So volume of water also is equal to weight of water. So weight of water. How weight of water? Because density of water is always one. So multiply volume of water into One. This will give density water. So this is also fixed. So again, applying same equation. So P naught minus P S by P naught. So again, you apply this for dilute solution and divided by N plus capital one. So this will be your. So again, solution is uh, solid given point one divided by 
point uh, one and what is the volume of water so volume of water per liter is given so per liter means thousand gram thousand gram divided by eighty so you, you know if you solve it so it will come around uh, zero point uh, triple zero one eight. So this will be the answer. So it uh, has been calculated. You solve it, you will get answers. So it is not uh, that was difficult. What mass of urea needs to be dissolved in 100 gram of water in order to decrease the vapor pressure of water by 25%? What will be the molality of solution? So here, mass given, weight of the water is given and water, vapor pressure of water decreased by 25%. So again, use this for a P0 minus PS, P0 equal to N by N plus capital N. Okay, or since this is a, uh, a solvent is water is given, so we can write here n by so what is given, so all we can use uh, for very dilute solutions P naught minus P by P or N by capital N. Okay, so, so we can uh, normally generally we use this formula, we use this formula very less. So P naught minus P by P, so P P naught is given 100 25 25 percent means 25 percent means 100 is the pressures and 25 is decreased. It is decreased by the vapor pressure by 25 percent. So pressure of the uh, solutions will be how much 75. So 100 minus 75 divided by 75 and moles of the urea will be weight by 60 and uh, water is given 100 by 18 so this is directly coming here so this is will be your 1 by 20 25 by 75 so it will be 1 by 3 so weight by 16 you can solve it weight by 60 divided by 100 upon 18 so here you can calculate easily so on calculation we will get here triple 1.11 gram so this will be the weight of Urea. At, at 50 degree centigrade, the vapor pressure of pure water and ethanol are 92.5 and 290.9 millimeter of mercury, respectively. If 6 gram of non volatile solid of molar mass 120 are dissolved in 150 gram each of these solvent. So what will be the ratio of reducting vapor pressure lowering in two solvents? So 6 gram non volatile solids dissolve in water as well as ethanol. So after dissolving, so we have to find the relating vapor pressure of these two solvents. So this is just a ratio. So we will take the ratio of these two solvents and solve it. So we can write directly here uh, relative lowering of vapor pressure. So here relative lowering of vapor pressure so in case of if you are it is dissolving in water so in water a second ratio we can use relative lowering of vapor pressure in C2H5 OH so here in water is there here ethanol is there so we can use here P naught minus P P naught of water. So this will be your. So this divided by P naught minus P P equal to C two H five O H. So we divide it here and W Y capital M. So W Y capital M plus W Y capital M. Same here W by capital M W by M plus W by capital M. So on solving six by one twenty six down the element six by one twenty plus one fifty by eighteen. So this will be again divided by six by one twenty. We divide it six by 
150 by 40 okay so this is on solving we can see here uh, so on solving you can see this side so this will be your 6 by 120 plus 150 by 40 uh, 6 by 120 plus 150 by 18 this will be your 3.31 and divided by 8.38 and this is 39, 4, 39, 49. So this is our 